another tragedy in the, in, in the inner city and in urban community. And, it, and it's... Um, Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James was at a loss for words when he was discussing Nipsey Hussle's unfortunate and tragic death that occurred just days ago with CBS Los Angeles. Nipsey was a triumphant role model representing Crenshaw, but always wanting to do more, not necessarily for himself, but for his community. And LeBron being one of the most outspoken athletes of his time, which we applaud, kept it as real as it possibly gets. And here is part of that interview. It's another tragedy in the inner city, urban community. And it's just unfortunate, he said, struggling to remain composed, as CBS reports. It's so unfortunate when you look at a guy who believed in what he believed in, talk about how he wanted to give back to his own community, actually gave back to his community, and actually stayed in his community. And he's right. LeBron is spot on with this. Now, you could go back to some of Nipsey's rhymes in spoken stanzas like Mark My Words, describing how he's a mogul in the making and elevated innovation, or even on Dedication, where he advises the up-and-comers on the business of the rap game and owning his masters, or even on Blue Laces too, when he puts in poetry the moves he's made in investing. So this loss struck like Russell Westbrook, like many others, LeBron James, very, very hard because it was the very community in which Nipsey Hussle tried to bring the best out of in the form of bettering remedies for a more positive tomorrow. LeBron went on to see his life taken away from him in his community by someone that comes from his community. It's one of the most unfortunate events that's happened in American history. Again, he's right. A lot of rappers have even talked about this in their own written rhymes. Tupac even wrote about it, and only God can judge me when he said, and they say it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the killing here. I mean, Hip Hop DX has an entire article, an entire list rather, of artists who have been murdered in their own communities. From Big Al in Harlem to the N.O. Soldier Slim being shot and killed on the front lawn of his parents' home and proof of D12 being shot and killed on 8 Mile Road in Detroit at just 32 years old. The list goes on and on and on. And unfortunately, Nipsey Hussle now needs to be added to that very list. So LeBron continued, it's what we have to deal with in our own cities. We go to school with these guys. We play Little League football and basketball with these guys. And because of their motivation not being as much as ours, it becomes a hate it becomes a you made it, you left me here. They start to really hate you for that. Eric Holder, the man arrested for killing Nipsey Hussle, had a dispute with him. We don't know the very context of what occurred, but some have led it to jealousy. And this is a common theme that occurs in many of these communities where rappers make it out, they try to get back, and then they're shamed for doing so. Onward, LeBron was quoted as saying, we always talk about like when you become someone, you tap into that gift and you know what your gift is and then you give back and you continue to give back and you continue to give back and you continue to put on for where you come from and to see it taken away by someone who didn't have the same drive and didn't have the same ambition that didn't have the same motivation but comes from the same place you come from. It's what we have to deal with in our own cities. The loss of loved ones also hits LeBron very, very hard. Because just a few years ago, one of his friends was shot and killed in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. The senseless relaxation of gun laws and the nonsensical, psychological, ill-minded mindset that forces someone to pull the trigger on another person continues to devastate all of these communities. LeBron, like Nipsey Hussle, has given back to his community. There were many who tried to tear down LeBron's legacy and who he was as a person. You know what I'm talking about. You can go back even a few summers over, yet his philanthropy, like Nipsey Hussle's, should be admired. It should be applauded. We should have more people doing this because to speak to that action that can be done to help these communities is not only a sight to behold, but we need more voices like these.